So this is how you drain a copper pipe um, that still has water in it that you're trying to solder. Just grab a little piece of uh, quarter inch tubing, like refrigerator tubing or something like that, reverse osmosis tubing, water filter tubing, you know, whatever, three quarter inch tubing. Shove it down into the pipe and just start sucking. Spit it out into a bowl or a bucket, whatever you got. Uh, like I'm doing here until you, you know, you suck that pipe dry. And um, I guess, I mean, you might be able to do this with the vacuum. I just don't think it's as effective. Also, um, if you have the pipe up higher, like this pipe here, I cut right down near the footing. If it's up higher and you can get it to siphon, meaning all you have to do is get the water to start flowing. And if you keep the um, end of the tubing that you sucked on lower than the water level, it'll siphon the water out. So it's kind of a cool little trick. So that's how you uh, evacuate the water from a half inch copper line that's vertical. But I know you guys are saying, but Chris, what, what about a horizontal copper pipe? I mean, th that's, that's what I want to know. I want to know the horizontal, how to get the water out of a horizontal copper pipe. Well, let me show you real quick. Here's a three quarter by one inch uh, T. It's attached to a 90 with a long horizontal three quarter pipe. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my piece of quarter inch tubing. I'm going to cut it to like a point. Pretty much like a, you know, 90 degree angle there. Once you've got that cut at a 90 degree angle, and try and follow the natural curve of the uh, three quarter inch tubing. If your three quarter inch tubing has a natural curve, like most three quarter, I keep saying three quarter inch, excuse me, I mean quarter inch. Most quarter inch tubing comes in a roll, so it has a natural curve to it. So if it's smart to try and follow that natural curve when using this method to evacuate the water from a copper pipe, especially if we're going down a horizontal copper pipe to reach wherever the vertical is that feeds that pipe. Because so every horizontal is fed by a vertical, guys. And if it's not, go downstream, find the meter that the city is feeding your water, and, you know, un there usually the meters are done with a... Uh, union unscrew the union so as you see i've fished my line here down through that line there and that's where you're going to suck out the water bring the water level down as low as you possibly can guys that way you give yourself a good amount of time make sure your pipes and fitting is clean your fittings and pipes are clean and do your soldering as quickly as possible. You should be able to get a valve on there or whatever it is that you need to do. And um, here's my same example on a half inch line. Because I'm sure most of you guys were saying, well, I'm sure you can't do that on a half inch line. Well, yes, you can. Um, as you can see, here's a really quick um, demonstration of that. And um, I wanted to show you real quick how uh how far down we're actually going so you know that i'm actually making it down to that second 90 there there you go look that's how much of the line was in there it makes it all the way down to that second 90 so i'd have all that time for that pipe to fill back up to make my joint so thank you guys very much for watching the video uh, i hope this helped you in some way See you later.